Hello and welcome to Home Assistant Tips by Larry. Before we get started, we are going to assume you already have a working instance of Home Assistant and you already have ESP Home installed and working and you know how to flash a microcontroller with ESP Home. Today we are going to talk about millimeter wave sensors and light sensors. The LD2410C and the BH1750 are the two sensors that I use in my sensor packages along with the D1 Mini ESP32. Here we can see a wiring diagram showing how the sensors are connected to the microcontroller. Here we see a parts list breakdown that's needed to create the sensor package. The parts links are in the description of this video. Here we see one of my sensor packages. As you can see it has a hole in the lid for the light to enter so it can be measured by the BH1750 light sensor and a wall mount. When I open the lid you can see the microcontroller in the bottom and a BH1750 and a LD2410C glued in the lid of the project box. The project box as you can see is very small and this one I normally have mounted above the door in my master bathroom. Now I am going to switch to my home assistant screen so you can see what entities are listed. As you can see when I cover the sensors the light level reduces by a good amount along with the distances. This sensor will only turn on the light in my bathroom only when the light level in that room is low enough to need it. And as we know the millimeter wave sensor presence detection will only clear when you leave the room even when you are sitting very still. This sensor package only cost around $11 to build. The code to get the sensors working in ESP Home will be linked in the video description. We hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe to this channel so we can continue to make these videos and as always if you have any questions please ask them in the comments section. See you next time.